All right, not only does uh, spring officially arrive today, but it's also March reading month, and I was uh, lucky enough to head down to Battle Creek. Yeah, quite a drive, but it's worth it. Mingus uh, Brook Elementary, Audrey Birchmeyer's third grade class, and fantastic questions. Uh, Thunder cake right there, and uh, Katie and the Magic Umbrella, they got to pick. And uh, it was fun reading to the classes out there uh, down in Battle Creek, so that was kind of cool. All right, speaking of cool, it is a cool morning out there. We have uh, some snow showers. They're more prominent to the north. We have just a narrow little band of kind of fading flurries, if you will, moving through the area. This is in the sensitive mode of the radar, and a lot of this isn't even reaching the ground. But a few flurries as you head out the door, especially just east of US 131, if you're around the Cascade and uh, East Grand Rapids area, heading towards Ionian Hastings. Right now, temperatures are running a little bit warmer than yesterday morning at the same time. Most cases around uh, 5 to 10 degrees. You see the current wind chill still on the chilly side. It's down in the 20s and one of the reasons why we have a strong wind out there and that strong wind's going to be with us not just today but it looks like right on through uh, tomorrow you can see some of those wind gusts nudging up in the 30 mile an hour range at times and that's going to keep those wind chill temperatures again in check today. We're looking at high temperatures uh, running about nearly 10 degrees warmer than yesterday and also the wind chill temperatures up in the 30s as opposed to yesterday's 20s. So overall uh, this is going to be one of the warmer days this week but that's not going to last and this is the reason why we have a cold front that's marching through not much moisture for it to work with if you're up to the north or you have travel plans in the north you'll likely have a better chance of running into a few snow showers for us though we'll have kind of a mix of sun and clouds today and as we roll into the overnight period i think late in the morning hours or late overnight early morning hours just a brief light snow shower a few flurries will be possible nothing too widespread out there and that should come to an end it looks like uh, during the afternoon hour then i'm going to leapfrog thursday because Thursday looks like just a fine day out there with some sunshine. And I wanted to just show you what one of the forecast models is giving us for Friday in terms of snow. Now, it looks like the snow is going to happen primarily during the daylight hours. So this will be snowfall, not uh, snow accumulation, which I think obviously will compress and melt a, little, melt a little bit as it does fall. So it does look like a chance of snow on Friday. And then that moves out Friday or Saturday looks dry, maybe a few flurries into uh, Sunday. Uh, Monday in the Tuesday time frame, another winter storm will be possible. So uh, active eight day forecast. Tom? Okay, a much quieter morning today than what we were dealing with yesterday morning. We had multiple freeway closures yesterday. We had that snow that was coming down mostly uh, along the lakeshores where it caused a lot of the problems. So far, not the case this morning. Taking a look at how we were doing at area freeways around the Grand Rapids region as you get ready to head out the door this morning. No major problems developing so far. We do remain crash free across area freeways for the time being. I do want to give you a live look at those current road conditions. Here's the S curve northbound and southbound. US 131 heading into and out of downtown Grand Rapids. Right now you can see we are working with clear and dry conditions and light traffic. I'll have another update for you coming up in about 15 minutes. Teresa and Donovan.